Okay guys, today we have my old Acer Aspire F15 15.6 inch uh, laptop. Now, this laptop for some reason is not posting. It's actually, when I plug it in, I don't, I strongly doubt you guys can hear this, but I can actually hear that something is shorting. So, now, these Acer Aspires like many other old laptops of the time. This is a, what, 2016? Released in 2016, 2017? Something like that. But um, one thing about these laptops, these Aspire F15s, E15s, all of those, um, they typically come with like a battery reset switch on the bottom of the motherboard. Now, I actually do have access to that bo that battery reset switch right over here, and I would be able to, you know, fit some kind of a thumbtack or a SIM removal tool or something in there. Um, although I am doubtful because I tried that already, <laughs> and uh, that's why I have started to make this video. Um, actually, sometimes um, you have to reseat the actual battery because one thing. I actually haven't charged this battery in a pretty long time because this was actually my daily driver for about two years and I've owned it for three years now almost four yeah I think almost four years now that is that's pretty old <laughs> especially for me um, but yeah what uh, I guess the battery can get like so discharged over time that it just starts being unrecognized by the BIOS by the motherboard by the operating system, all of that. Um, See, so yeah, what I do when I actually do plug it in. See, so yeah, I hear that uh, sh like shorting sound. It's like tick, tick, tick over and over again. And then when I press the power button, this is probably not even a good idea. When I press the power button, I'm not sure if you guys were able to see that. It might not even have showed, but half of the time it'll actually. The, one of the uh, LEDs will illuminate for a split second and then go out. So I don't know. I'm a little bit. Uh, I have a little bit of hope in fixing this machine. Hopefully, it's just something as simple as you know receding the battery, or replacing a component. You know, a main component of the motherboard. Um, if I have to get out the uh, hotter station, then we'll do that. Uh, obviously, I'll have to do that off camera because. I'll need to do a little bit more research before I just start boiling my motherboard. <laughs> um, well, yeah, let's uh, disconnect the uh, charger and get started. Now, one thing I always do is I get some kind of microfiber cloth. So... <clears throat> yes, here we have a lovely microfiber cloth so let's just lay this down so that we provide no more we add no more scratches on the surface of the laptop um, if I cannot if it turns out you know if it turns out I cannot fix this motherboard then I'll just either sell it as is or sell all the parts you know individually um, yeah we'll just see what happens so let's get out the old I fix it kit and get started. Now I'm gonna have to clear my desk for this because I have a feeling we're gonna get a little bit messy. We're gonna move over my mouse and keyboard a little bit so I can get this into the shot. And here we go. Get out the old I fix it kit. I'll just take this guy out. Alrighty. Um, I don't think we'll actually need any of the prying picks uh, in my iFixit uh, toolkit, so I'm just going to leave them in the in the thingy. <laughs> yeah, let's start disassembling this guy. Um, you may have remembered actually a while back um, when my channel was actually brand new. I did a random access memory RAM, sorry, upgrade and an SSD uh, upgrade on this laptop. It was actually just called How to Upgrade the RAM in Your Acer Laptop, which, as you could tell by the title, isn't very helpful because there are many different Acer laptop models than just the F15, the F5571. That's what this one is. 
Well, yeah, let's uh, get these screws loosened. And uh, in that video, I actually did upgrade this laptop to 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. However, now this is only running at uh, 8 gigabytes. Last time I checked, and that's because I took the DDR3 stick, one of the DDR3 sticks, the one that actually didn't come with this guy, and I threw it in my Latitude E6430, and then I threw it in my E7240, and then in my E7450. You know, it's just, I've had a lot of laptops within the past year, through the past year. Well, yeah. This screw always gives me a hard time. So, we'll leave that. Flip the laptop over later. I might even have to just leave it in there, because previously, it hasn't let me take it out. Now, I have disassembled this laptop several times, a number of times, um, because I did a screen replacement on here. Um, I did a, no, not a screen replacement, I apologize. It was a uh, back cover replacement, so it was the bot bottom cover replacement, um, an optical drive door replacement, which by the way, this optical drive door is falling off once again, as you can see, and this is the new one. So yeah, anyways, I did not do a screen replacement on this guy, I did a... Uh, screen back cover replacement so this entire assembly was replaced you know minus the actual display because I took care of it for the most part Alrighty. so once I've got all of these screws removed uh, we can, of course, slide the optical drive out without breaking the bezel like I just did again. Once we get the optical drive out, there's some three screws under there that we'll need to remove. So, yep. As you can see, there's so many screws in this laptop. <laughs> Alrighty, I think... Yep, that's it for that. Let's uh, see if I can get this whole optical drive out. Oh. Yep, there we go, kinda. <laughs> we'll put this bezel back on. You can see this is actually a replacement optical drive as well, because the other one broke. <laughs> yeah, Acer laptops for you. I actually took really good care of this machine, only, um, you know, there were some components that I needed to replace after a year. Yes, Megan, we can hear you. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and get this bottom cover off. There is a sound cable, and there we go. That's that screw popping out. And then, yep, there's a little cable here. Okay, set that aside. And here we have our Acer Aspire F15 motherboard. Uh, this is another thing I replaced since I did a, you know, back cover replacement. Um, I replaced the Wi-Fi antennas. Yep, well now that we're inside, uh, this is the button that I was talking about. I'll show you guys right there. And, uh, yeah, we've got the battery itself. Look how tiny this battery is. Holy cow. <laughs> Can't believe I used this for two and a half, two, yeah, two and a half years, two years. I'm not sure, but battery life on this always sucked. <laughs> Uh, again, Acer laptops for you. So let's give it a little reset. Um, we'll take out the battery. And that's another thing. <laughs> the hinges aren't still attached to it. All right, anyways, well, that's still attached. Let's uh, press the power button and hold it. Just take out any remaining power in the motherboard. Set down those hinges. And press and hold this. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Um, we'll just press and hold this, maybe press it a few times. Uh, this, I've seen this work in the past with uh, this same model, or at least a similar model, and I've actually had to do this once, I think. Yeah, once, but I didn't have to take the whole bottom cover off, but it, as you can tell, it just didn't work this time. 
but last time it was actually because I was tampering inside of the computer and then you know I had to remove the battery and uh, usually when you have to remove the battery you actually do have to reset it so yeah let's just uh, reseat this battery see if this fixes our issue grab a power adapter and I'm still hearing the clicking so it's not a great sound so yes I need to figure out where this is shorting um let's take out the old battery the old battery because this is the original battery that came with this and who knows what could be wrong with that by now so okay not hearing anything so could just mean we need a new battery or we have some broken components around the battery you know the transistors all the components that power that you know have power transfer going to the battery that allow the, that power transfer <clears throat> well uh let's try this powering it on without the battery installed and would you look at that we get a keyboard backlight and we get a post and yeah, I was trying to get into BIOS, but I guess I didn't click that fast enough. <laughs> so, there we have it. We I think we have a dead battery. We'll throw this back into the laptop, and yep, it's working. So, that's awesome. You can see this is indeed a touch screen. So, it's very fancy. <laughs> Shut it down. So, we could have a just dead battery, or maybe I fix the issue. Let's find out. Because I do know that releasing the power within the motherboard, you know, the power that's left in the capacitors can affect the battery fr from performing. So, uh, with the battery plugged back in, let's just give it a try. Okay, so I am still hearing something shorting there, which makes me less confident in thinking that it's the battery more than it's within the motherboard, although there are cases when the battery just goes bad and, you know, creates a short in the motherboard. Well, well uh, I'll do some more troubleshooting on this. and. Um, I'm not sure. I kind of wish I had a battery to test this against since, you know. And would you look at that? We have a charging LED. So let's uh let's boot this up, shall we? And uh let's go into BIOS. So you can see the system is functioning and we do have a LED for the charging and LED for the power, so that's very reassuring. The laptop is functioning once again. Well, that's pretty awesome. Although I feel kind of skeptical about, uh, you know, I was actually thinking about selling this machine. Although I do feel skeptical about selling this machine as is, uh, because it has experienced this problem before, although it was because you know, I was tampering inside, I was, you know, messing with the battery, I 
took out the battery. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys actually saw, but what I did, which is something I definitely would never recommend in a million years, is I plugged in the power cord, then I plugged in the battery, which is, as I said, a dumb idea, but I'm not, huh, it's just weird. I think that was the problem though. It was just so undercharged that it just was not accepting any charge at all. So yeah, uh, since there was actually power to the motherboard with the you know power from the wall outlet, um, when we plugged in the battery, it was like, oh, there's power to the machine, now we can provide power to the battery and charge it. So, well, that's pretty much it. I will give you guys an update if this machine is still working. If it is, then, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, maybe I'll sell it, but, you know, we'll have to see through time, will this guy hold up? Um, yeah, well, uh, anyways, guys, uh, that is pretty much it, that is, that is my first video troubleshooting a laptop, I'm actually going to shut this guy down before I continue working on it. So now that we have it shut down, let's tuck these cables back in, like under the hinges, the hinge covers, whatever they're called. Okay, we have the antenna wires tucked back into place, so very, very nice. Well guys, here we have a fully working, a fully working laptop. Uh, yep, thank you guys very much for watching. As I said, I'm not actually sure what was the problem, although I'm thinking it was my theory, whereas the battery was just so discharged that it just was not accepting any charge whatsoever from the wall outlet. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, that is my first video troubleshooting a laptop. Uh, please let me know what you guys think. Leave a like on this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, be sure to recommend any other troubleshooting videos, you know, on phones, on other laptops, other desktops, anything. Um, I will definitely be doing more laptop troubleshooting videos in the future, although the fixes will not be as simple as they were today. They will hopefully be some components that need to be you know, soldered, replaced with my trusty soldering uh, kit over there. Um, <clears throat> well, anyways, as I said, that is pretty much it. I'm sorry about the bad lighting behind me. Um, yeah, as I said, thanks for watching.